Imagine your body as a silent laboratory, running experiments you never notice. Right now, as you sit here, millions of microscopic decisions are being made inside you. Your cells are choosing between fuel sources, your hormones are adjusting their quiet conversations, and your metabolism is responding to signals you sent hours ago. But what happens when you introduce a variable that changes everything? What happens when you ask your body to work while it's still processing the absence of food? Most people think of exercise and eating as separate events. You work out, then you eat. Or you eat, then you work out. But there's a third possibility, one that reveals something extraordinary about how your body actually operates. Working out while fasting creates a biological conversation that's been happening inside humans for thousands of years. It's not new, it's not a hack. It's simply a return to a metabolic state your body remembers perfectly. The question isn't whether this changes fat burning. The question is how profoundly it changes the entire internal landscape of your physiology. And the answer might surprise you. Deep inside your body, a conversation is already happening. Your liver is quietly releasing stored glucose into your bloodstream, drop by measured drop. Your fat cells are responding to hormonal whispers, slowly opening their cellular doors. Your muscles are preparing for work even before you take your first step toward the gym. This isn't drama, it's biology. This is your body's intelligence at work. When you haven't eaten for several hours, your internal environment shifts into a different mode of operation. Insulin levels begin their gentle descent, creating space for other hormones to step forward. Growth hormone starts its slow climb upward. Your nervous system recalibrates its sensitivity to various signals. These changes don't announce themselves with fanfare. They happen in the quiet spaces between heartbeats, in the pause between breaths. Your cells become more receptive to certain messages and less responsive to others. This isn't optimization, it's adaptation. Your body is simply responding to the information it's receiving. No food for a while means switching to backup systems. Exercise while in this state means asking those backup systems to perform under different conditions than usual. But the deeper change begins later. What starts as a simple shift in fuel preference becomes something more complex, more nuanced. Your mitochondria, those tiny powerhouses inside your cells, begin adjusting their operations. They become more efficient at processing fat for energy, not because they have to, but because the conditions are right. Research observing human physiology shows that exercising in a fasted state increases the body's ability to burn fat during that specific period of activity. But this immediate change in fat oxidation is just the surface of what's happening. Beneath that measurable shift, your entire metabolic machinery is recalibrating itself. Your pancreas reduces its insulin production, allowing blood sugar to stabilize at lower levels. Your liver increases its production of enzymes that break down fat. Your muscle tissue becomes more sensitive to the signals that tell it to use fat for fuel instead of glucose. These aren't temporary adjustments. These are your cells learning, adapting, becoming more metabolically flexible. The process unfolds slowly, methodically. Your body doesn't rush these changes because it doesn't need to. Evolution has given your physiology all the time it needs to make these transitions safely and efficiently. What feels like a simple workout becomes a masterclass in biological adaptation. Studies suggest that this metabolic shift affects more than just fat burning, your body's response to insulin improves. Your cells become more efficient at taking up glucose when it's available. Your liver becomes better at managing the delicate balance between storing and releasing energy. These changes happen gradually, quietly, without your conscious involvement. But there's something else happening, something that bridges the gap between your biology and your experience. As your body shifts into this fat-burning state, your brain begins receiving different signals. The neurotransmitter profile in your head starts to change. Dopamine pathways respond differently to the absence of food combined with physical activity. You might notice a strange clarity, a quiet alertness that feels different from your usual exercise experience. This isn't coincidence. When your brain runs partly on ketones, those small molecules produced when your body breaks down fat, its entire operating system shifts slightly. Ketones provide a steadier, more sustained form of energy than glucose. They don't create the peaks and valleys that come with sugar metabolism. Your cortisol levels adjust to this new rhythm. 
Instead of the sharp spikes that often accompany intense exercise on a full stomach, your stress hormone response becomes more measured, more controlled. You may feel discomfort on the surface. The normal sensations of physical exertion, while inside a different kind of stabilization has already begun. The emotional experience of fasted exercise often surprises people. There's a particular quality of mental quiet that emerges, not immediately, but as your body settles into its new metabolic rhythm. Your nervous system, no longer managing the complex task of digestion while exercising, redirects its attention to the work at hand. This creates space for a different kind of focus. Not the sharp, driven concentration that comes with pre-workout nutrition, but something softer, more sustained. Your mind becomes less reactive to the minor discomforts of exercise and more attuned to the subtle signals your body is sending. What unfolds next reveals something your body rarely shows in our constantly fed world. As hours pass after your fasted workout, your metabolism continues to operate in this shifted state. Your cells remain more sensitive to insulin for hours afterward. Your body continues to preferentially burn fat for fuel, even as you go about your day. This extended period of metabolic flexibility is where the real changes occur. Your body isn't just burning more fat during exercise, it's learning to access fat stores more efficiently in general. Your liver becomes more skilled at the delicate dance between glucose production and fat metabolism. Your muscles develop a greater capacity to switch between fuel sources as needed. The timeline of these changes unfolds in phases, each one building on the last. In the first 24 hours after a fasted workout, your body begins the process of metabolic recalibration. Hormone levels shift, enzyme production adjusts, and your cells start adapting to the new demands you've placed on them. By the 72-hour mark, these adaptations have deepened. Your muscles show increased sensitivity to insulin, meaning they can more efficiently take up glucose when it's available. Your fat cells become more responsive to the signals that tell them to release stored energy. Your liver develops greater capacity for producing the enzymes needed for fat metabolism. After a week of consistent fasted exercise, the changes become more pronounced. Your body's ability to switch between fuel sources improves significantly. The transition from burning glucose to burning fat becomes smoother, more automatic. Your cells develop what researchers call metabolic flexibility, the ability to efficiently use whatever fuel source is most appropriate for the current situation. The 30-day mark represents a turning point. By this time, your body has essentially rewired its approach to energy management. The pathways for fat burning have become more developed, more efficient. Your insulin sensitivity has improved not just during exercise, but throughout the day. Your liver has become more skilled at managing the complex interplay between different energy sources. But perhaps the most remarkable change is in your body's relationship with hunger itself. The sharp, demanding quality of hunger that most people experience begins to soften. Your body becomes more comfortable with the temporary absence of food because it has learned to efficiently access its internal energy stores. This isn't about suppressing hunger or ignoring your body's needs. It's about your physiology becoming more flexible, more adaptable. Your body learns to distinguish between true nutritional needs and the habitual expectation of constant fuel. This distinction creates space for a different relationship with eating, one based on actual biological requirements rather than routine or emotional impulses. The next phase reveals something your body rarely shows in our modern world of constant availability. As your metabolic flexibility improves, your energy levels throughout the day become more stable. Instead of the peaks and valleys that come with frequent eating, your energy supply smooths out into a steadier, more sustainable rhythm. Your sleep may improve as your body becomes less dependent on the timing of meals for energy regulation. Your mood stabilizes as your brain adapts to running efficiently on a more consistent fuel supply. These changes happen gradually, almost imperceptibly, but their cumulative effect can be profound. The deeper truth about fasted exercise isn't really about fat burning at all. It's about reconnecting with your body's innate intelligence, its ability to adapt and thrive under different conditions. It's about discovering that your physiology is far more flexible and resilient than you might have imagined. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones, but there's something most people don't realize about this process. The changes don't stop when you finish your workout. In fact, the most profound shifts are just beginning. 
your metabolism enters what researchers call an extended fat oxidation window. This isn't a temporary spike, it's a sustained recalibration that can last for hours. Your body has essentially learned a new language, one that speaks fluently in stored energy rather than immediate fuel. The cellular machinery that was activated during your fasted workout continues to hum quietly in the background, processing fat with an efficiency that surprises even seasoned researchers. Your liver becomes particularly interesting during this phase. It starts producing more of the enzymes responsible for breaking down fatty acids, not because it's stressed, but because it's responding to the information your exercise session provided. These enzymes don't just disappear when you finish your workout. They remain elevated, creating a metabolic environment that favors fat utilization for hours afterward. The deeper truth emerges slowly, like a photograph developing in a dark room. Your body isn't just burning fat more efficiently during exercise, it's learning to access this fuel source more readily throughout your day. The pathways become more established, more automatic. What once required conscious effort now happens as naturally as breathing. But the most fascinating change occurs in your brain's relationship with energy itself. As ketone production increases during and after your fasted workout, your neurons begin receiving a different quality of fuel. Ketones provide a steadier energy supply than glucose without the peaks and valleys that characterize sugar metabolism. This creates a particular kind of mental clarity, one that many people describe as simultaneously alert and calm. Your dopamine pathways respond differently to this metabolic state. Instead of the sharp reward signals that come with eating after exercise, you experience a more sustained sense of satisfaction. It's subtle, almost imperceptible at first, but it represents a fundamental shift in how your brain processes reward and energy availability. What unfolds over the following hours reveals something remarkable about your body's adaptive intelligence. The period immediately following a fasted workout represents a unique window of metabolic opportunity. Your muscles remain highly sensitive to insulin for up to 24 hours afterward, meaning they can efficiently absorb nutrients when you do eat. But more importantly, they continue to preferentially burn fat for their baseline energy needs. This creates what scientists call the metabolic flexibility advantage. Your body becomes more skilled at switching between fuel sources based on what's available and what's needed. During rest periods, it efficiently accesses stored fat. When you eat, it effectively processes and stores nutrients. When you exercise again, it smoothly transitions back to fat burning. Your nervous system participates in this dance of adaptation. The autonomic responses that govern your heart rate, breathing, and digestion all adjust to support this new metabolic rhythm. Your parasympathetic nervous system responsible for rest and repair functions becomes more active during recovery periods. This enhanced recovery state allows for deeper cellular repair and regeneration. The hormonal symphony playing out inside you becomes more harmonious. Growth hormone levels, which naturally elevate during fasted exercise, remain elevated for hours afterward. This hormone doesn't just support muscle maintenance, it actively promotes the breakdown of fat tissue and the preservation of lean mass. The result is a body composition shift that happens gradually, almost imperceptibly, but with remarkable consistency. <sighs> Sleep begins to change in ways you might not immediately connect to your exercise routine. The metabolic flexibility you've developed allows your body to maintain steady energy levels throughout the night without requiring frequent meals. Your blood sugar remains more stable, reducing the likelihood of sleep disruptions caused by hunger or energy crashes. The next phase reveals something your body rarely shows in our constantly fed world. As days pass, the adaptations deepen and become more integrated into your body's default operating system. Your cells develop what researchers call enhanced mitochondrial efficiency. These cellular powerhouses become more skilled at extracting energy from fat, creating ATP, the body's energy currency, with greater precision and less waste. This metabolic flexibility represents something far more profound than improved fat burning. It's your body's quiet return to an ancient wisdom, a biological intelligence that modern life often masks but never erases. The changes that unfold during fasted exercise reveal not optimization, but remembrance. Your cells are simply recalling what they've always known how to do. The transformation isn't dramatic or immediate. It's patient, methodical, sustainable. 
Your body doesn't rush toward metabolic flexibility because it understands that lasting change happens in layers, in the accumulation of small adaptations that compound over time. Each fasted workout becomes a gentle conversation between your conscious choices and your body's innate wisdom. What emerges is a different relationship with energy itself. Not the frantic pursuit of quick fuel, but the quiet confidence that comes from knowing your body can sustain itself, can find what it needs, can adapt to whatever conditions you present. This knowledge changes everything, not through force or extremes, but through the simple recognition of what was always possible. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, consider subscribing to Vivalabs for more calm, science-based explanations. Vivalabs, where your body tells its quiet stories,